Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Duel Links video. Today we have a brand new card draft update, it feels so good to be back making videos for the channel. A uh, little bit of a break, um, I need to turn off my Twitter account uh, notifications. Um, but, we got some new card trader stuff, um, apologies for not uploading, I've had internet issues and uh, been back with family, so now we're back. The Rex, of, the, not the Rex, the Bones event is coming, what, two days time from now? So, uh... That should be pretty exciting, but we got a card trade update. I've also, I've got to go and buy these sleeves and playmat bundles because uh, I haven't done those yet. But I thought these cards were going to be in in the Yugi event that's coming up. Uh, I would have done a leak video, but these were basically all the cards that were kind of leaked, so uh, didn't make too much sense. We'll go from uh, worst to best, I guess, in you could say. So first of all, we have Gonna Go. This guy is pretty good defense. At the end of the damage step, this card battled an opponent's monster, changed that monster face down defense position, so... This guy can get over one of your opponent's big monsters, so say for example, uh, you had... Your opponent had uh, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys on the field, and you had something with 2000 attack. Uh, you could attack into it with this, that uses the ability to flip to face down defense position, this guy would be destroyed, you take some damage, but then you'd be able to get over it, so... Not a bad card at all, uh, not sure how much play it will see, um, but it definitely, uh, you could then combo it with things like Gravity Axe Grawl and make it so it can't change battle position, so it's, also if you have like Holy Guard on, the, on your, your, your skill Holy Guard, then this would work even better because you wouldn't take damage, so there's a lot of things you could do with Gonago I think, um, definitely some creative decks that could be made with that card. Next from SL we have Block Golem, this is the card I thought was going to be Yugi specifically and I've never actually seen this guy before so let's see what this guy has. Rock Monster again, if all the monsters in your graveyard are Earth types, you can choose this card to target two level 4 or lower Rock Monsters in your graveyard and special summon them, but their effects are negated. Okay. That's actually really good for Magnet Warriors. I think, I'm sure the Magnet Warriors are all Earth Monsters and they're all Rock. So that's going to be really good in Magnet Warriors. Uh, especially if uh, you've already wasted Valkyrian, um, because then you can obviously, or you, uh, if you've already wasted your Deltas, I guess, because then you could potentially get them back and then uh, use their abilities when they're destroyed to get out and get a uh, Valkyrian from your deck. So that's that's pretty good. I think you'd put, you know, you'd only run one of these guys in your deck if you were planning to run it, but it seems like a decent card for Magnet Warriors, which uh, I always appreciate because Magnet Warriors. A great archetype, and I hope we see more of those cards in the game soon. And finally, Tiki Soul as an ultra rare. So I think one of the uh, one of the event duelists had this. I can't remember when. I'm sure I've seen the game before. But uh, this is a really cool card. This is a lot better, in my opinion, than Embodiment for Pophis because first of all, you get an effect monster with higher defense, has less attack, but uh, well, no, the same defense. Sorry, but less attack. So really. You're going to be summoning this guy in defense position. Again, it, can, it works really well with um, Odeon's skill. Uh, while this card is an effect monster, if another trap card you control that is a monster would be destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle effect and sent to your graveyard, you can set it again. So, this guy is the heart and soul of your deck. So, if you're running a deck full of trap monsters, so full of these guys, full of embodiments, I can't remember what else is in the game, but there's definitely some other ones in the actual TCG. This guy is going to let you have an infinite supply of monsters, basically, which is really cool, and especially if we do end up getting uh, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames in the game, because obviously the GX updates come out, and that's one of these Sacred Beasts, and that one relies on sending three face-up continuous trap cards to the graveyard. This guy will be incredibly useful, I believe. Uh, I think it works with that, or either way, it will work for uh, Raviel. Um, but really really cool we're getting some decent cards i'm gonna to go to my card trader real quick just to see if any of them i didn't mean to go to the shop i meant to click the card trader to see if any of these guys are here because i want to i want to get the golem i really do okay well my stock isn't updating anyway so uh yeah but uh, that was a a pretty nice update i think um there's also some correction regarding uh, mission conditions so uh, they've now yeah they've they've made a statement about some stuff pretty cool um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on these new cards in the comment section down below. Will you be picking any of these three up from the card trader? If you do, what decks will you be, will you be running them in? Uh, would love to see some of your guys' thoughts on how we could use these cards in the game because obviously there are a ton of ideas other than the ones I've just stated. And I'm only stating things that just came to me at the top of my head and I'm not a very 
uh, competitive player, so, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate any thoughts you guys have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.